Yes guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. We are in a very different location. I mean, it probably looks the same in the background. You think, oh, it's Ultraflex Derby again. It's not, it's Ultraflex Durham. They both start with a D, they're both Ultraflexes, but this one's three hours away. The other one's half an hour away. But it's basically like a bit of a mini kind of meet up. I've been doing these with, you know, going to different gyms, messaging in my client group chat, basically saying, I'm going to be here on this date. Let me know who can make it. And you know, a few people who can come, I'm training with Mark and with Brad, um, who I've coached for pretty much like six months and 12 months respectively, who both live in Newcastle, which obviously is not too far from Durham. Noah's here as well. So my assistant coach Noah, he's seen his client Sinead. And then we've also got Owen here, who came to me only like three weeks ago, three and a half weeks ago, um, who was six weeks out at that point. So he's now two weeks out as of this weekend. Um, and in the last like three and a half, four weeks, well, we've pulled off a lot. He's had to really dig. But he's looking really, really good. So we're going to go through some in-person check-ins with the guys. Noah's going to obviously see Sinead. Noah's going to go through some posing with Owen as well because he's been helping him out. I'm going to be training legs with the boys. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be an all-round fun day. Sam's going to get loads of content. We'll get some photos. We'll do some reels because we absolutely love reels. Um, and yeah, like it's been a very busy week. I've been driving all over the country the last few days. And this was planned like months ago, whereas the last few days wasn't planned. So. This is like, I was still obviously going to do this, um, but literally Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I think I've racked up like nearly 1500 miles, in, including today, more than that. Um, I've yeah, basically been like in a van constantly for the last three days. So my back, my body does not feel good. Sleep's not been incredible. Um, food's been the same as normal. Training's been pretty good. Yeah, it wasn't amazing yesterday. Trained at Fully Pump Gym in Norwich yesterday. Um, and it was a decent session, but I've like done something in my back where it's like my upper back's all really tight. But I'm training legs, so it doesn't matter if my back hurts, does it, Sam? So, yeah, basically, I'm going to do another minute steps just because I've been in the car for like three hours. So, 10 minutes of steps, getting a little bit warm, have a think about what I want to do for the session, and then crack on with the boys. So, yeah, enjoy the video, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, and just follow along the, the whole leg session. Also, using Mega Pump, as I always do, this is the peach flavor, which is my favorite flavor of Mega Pump. Leg sessions, I only use one scoop. Upper body sessions, I use two scoops. Um, I did have half a monster on the way here, so I've not got any conviction. And I usually, to be fair, because it's like three hours away, this it's one o'clock now. So I wouldn't really be having any caffeine after this point anyway. Um, if I'm training earlier, so sometimes on a Saturday, most times on a Saturday, I train at about half nine. So I train earlier than my other sessions, so I do have conviction. But today, just mega pump, one scoop, and I've got the orange soda Hydroflow in here as well. If you want any Conte subs, been 10. Mate, you see, my neck so stiff. I can't like, I'm having to like, scoop it like this. Fucking heavy. 1,000 kilo calf press about to go down. I can't even do, uh, 200 was heavy. I don't, surely that's pounds. That's not 200 kilos, is it? 200 pounds. So 1,000 pounds. So guys, don't tell anyone, but I'm, I'm about to look like I'm actually quite strong on a hamstring curl. So for some reason, this stack only goes up to like 58 kilos. Usually it's like 85. And usually on the 85 kilo stack, I have the extra 15 pounds. So that's like another what, like let's say seven kilos, 92. And I add a five. So I'm nearly doing 100 kilos. This is only 58 kilos. I've added 30 kilos. So it looks like, if it was the usual 85 one, you'd be thinking, oh, can I? that guy's strong. Realistically, I'm doing probably the same. I'm doing less than I actually usually do. But I'm gonna, it does, with the gym pin in the plates, it does make it a bit more sticky, more friction. Yes, that's you. Yeah, <coughs> 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 
Yeah, well. Come on. Nice shoot. Nice shoot. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, mate. It's nice, that. Very good. Cheers, man. Slide for you. But I'd actually, like, take the slack out of the bar and almost, like, visualise anchoring your body weight against, especially because you're doing a stiff leg, you're not doing a conventional. Yeah. So we're, like, when you're here, like, actually, like, almost, like, Come sit into your hamstrings and feel that tension through your hamstrings, slack out the bar. <coughs> from there. One more thing with that weight, then. Do, you have a look? Do 160 for a single. Uh, yeah. yeah. You want it to watch it? Yeah. Good, come straight back down, straight back down. Don't waste time at the top. Come there when you need me. Big brace, big deep breath. Brace hard. Stay on the quads. Yeah, again. Lovely. Good, stay on those. Just try not to spend too long, like, especially at this point of a prep, like, if you can get more in a shorter period of a set by keeping it a little bit more continuous, like, if you would have just kept pausing and pausing and pausing, you'd still be in the set now. Probably in another 30 seconds, you might still be in the set. You know what I mean? Because you just rest, rest, rest. Yeah, just try and... No, don't, like, the change of direction is fine. But at the top, you could stand here all day long. It's not really hard. So, like, try not to spend too long there. Maybe at the end of the set, you might have a slight pause there. Just try and get into that next rep. Reach failure sooner, basically. Like, try and basically get to the point where you fail earlier on so that the actual total set itself is less fatiguing. Imagine if you put four plates on there, you probably do like 10 one rep maxes by just standing here for like 30 seconds every rep. You'll be absolutely ruined, yeah? Control's really good, like, that was sound. Yeah, I'd rather you do that than be putting four plates on and trying to do like say like five, six, seven one rep maxes and just being battered. Yeah, that looked good, it looks fun. My knees are very sore, so let's do some light leg extensions, try and get my knees a bit warmer. Yeah, stay close. Yeah. Uh, yeah, one. Well. So, five plates on the uh, Atlantis pendulum. It's not bolted down to the floor, so as you were saying before the set, like, I like that, because as soon as you unrack it, you can just convince yourself that it's light because the machine shakes. So as soon as I unrack it, it's like shaking around, but that's good, I'm like convincing myself, it's easy. So I almost do like a little bit of a car freeze when I unrack it with as much power as possible to convince myself that it's lighter than it actually is. I do like a few car phrase with it. I think if I can almost do a car phrase with it, it's light. And then I just get after it. So, so yeah, feels a little bit sore on my knees. But that five plates, like it felt heavy, but now I'll do a back off set, which will obviously inevitably feel 
very light compared to doing five. So I don't know what I'll do for a back off. Maybe I'll do four. We shall see. Pause back offset. I was literally saying to Mark before, like, when it comes to a pause set, I think people stress so much about the tempo, like, it has to be X amount of seconds. Like, one thing I hate, Sam, make this real. You know, when you see people at the side of the machine, one, two, one, two, and the person's not even pausing, or they're like, one, two, three, what's the fucking point? You're not even pausing. You don't need someone to give you fake counts. Just make sure in your head that you know that it's actually pausing before you press to control that change of direction. It's that simple. Could be two seconds if it feels good for you. Could be one second, could be half a second. But you don't need somebody there going, one, two, three, one, two. She looks fucking stupid. That'd be a good reel, that. So, just one set, Arsenal strength leg press. I've never really ran it, like, I've done it once or twice and, like, didn't mind it, but I didn't love it. It was okay. And that was really good, to be fair. But, like, my left side just not firing the same. So, it feels as though I'm pretty much doing the pendulum and the leg press. I feel like I'm just training my right leg. Not ideal. Obviously, my left leg is doing something. I'm not doing single leg five plates or six plates, but the left side is just not firing the same. Um, so basically I'm going to do a single leg movement now to 
make sure I can actually feel like I'm getting a bit more out of that left side. All right, guys, so as I said, doing a single, a single leg movement because the, the compounds, left side wasn't firing too well. So I've never really got on with this Rogers pendulum uh, hip press, but it actually felt okay. Um, I did basically just one set as like a triple drop set with partials at the end. You might be able to see my, my glute is shaking like a shitting dog. Like that's me just relaxed. My glute is all over the place. So it was good, I guess. My glutes, this is ridiculous, like twitching like fucking hell. That twerking like mad. I'm sick of twerking. I'm gonna tell Shannon. Shannon, guess what? I've learned. It's mental, but it was good. Very good. I, don't, I think Noah was looking at my, my twerking glutes. So yeah, basically one set, triple drop, partials at the end. Good amount of glute, good amount of quad as well. Um, similar to doing like a split squat. Definitely need more like single leg movements in my program. Like I say, not just to get more glute focus and a bit more like outer quad and even like rec fem. I felt a lot of my rec fem top of my quad, but also just because of those imbalances that I'm feeling sort of neurologically, my left side just isn't firing the same because of all whatever issues I'm having on my left side. So if I do my left side separate from my right, it actually I can feel it working. If I do a dual leg stuff, bilateral, doesn't feel great. So if that's the case, if that's you, just do more single leg stuff. It's a bit more time consuming, but you'll actually enjoy your training a lot more because you'll feel like, oh shit, I'm actually doing something with that, that side that doesn't really feel like I'm getting much out of it when I'm doing the bilateral work. Right guys, so that is a wrap for the lower day at Ultraflex Durham. Keep thinking Ultraflex Derby. Um, went through posing with everybody and um, I will probably do like some separate reels and photos of the like in-person check-ins that I did. Uh, the main sort of focus really today was making sure that Owen um, sort of felt comfortable when it comes to show day. So we got him like posing against the other boys. I got like doing a bit of like a call out, showing him what it'll be like if he's on the side of the stage or if he's at the front, all these kind of things, like letting him know how it'll run. He was like drenched in sweat from posing, which is good because you need to learn that you are going to be put through your paces when it comes to being on stage. And then obviously seeing Brad, seeing Mark, like I say, Brad, it's like a one year anniversary. Mark, I've coached for like six months now. And obviously Beth's come, Sinead's come, who's Noah's client. So it's really cool. Like, it's pretty cool that I can just put a message in the group chat and be like, I'm going to be here. Anybody who's around, come down. And we've got like a good group of us. Everybody's, you know, chatting, getting on, getting photos, getting videos. So really, really cool. Uh, my session was pretty good, to be fair, uh, enjoyed it, definitely will be back at some point in the future, maybe for legs again or for a different session, but really good gym, as most ultraflexes are, to be fair. So yeah, I'll leave it there. Thank you all, as always, for watching. If there's anything you want to see, let me know. Like and subscribe, follow the podcast, and I'll catch you in the next episode.